If you have been using the pump motor delay feature of the Fusion preset, you'll want to install the timer relay that came with your kit. If you haven't been using this feature, or you have an early version that didn't include it, you can skip this step and move on to the next video. Now let's look at the pump delay timer relay. Step 3.1. Open the timer relay that was sent with the fluid well. Place the timer on a section of open DIN rail. Attach it by sliding the top side of the timer onto the DIN rail. Using a screwdriver, pull the red tab on the bottom of the timer and push the timer onto the DIN rail. When the timer is flat, release the red tab to secure it onto the DIN rail. You should not be able to pull the timer off the DIN rail when it is installed correctly. Step 3.2. Disconnect the last wire on the terminal block from the far right terminal. If your wires are bundled, you can remove the cable ties to make it easier to move your wires. Don't worry, you can always bundle them back up later. Connect it to the timer relay on terminal 18. Step 3.3. Connect 120 AC power to terminal 15 on the relay timer. If available, you can use the auxiliary terminal blocks on or near the incoming power. However, do not jump from the incoming power supplying the circuit breaker. Connect AC common or neutral to terminal A2 on the timer. Step 3.4. Find the master control cube relay on the back panel. Connect 120 AC power to terminal 12 on the master relay. Run another wire from Terminal 8 on the master relay. To Terminal A1 on the timer relay. Step 3.5. 